Hi friends! So excited today because I am going to take you on my trip to The Way We Wore, an iconic vintage shop in LA that I've been wanting to go to for like five years and I have to say I had high expectations that were even exceeded. So I'm super excited to take you into the shop and show you what I got. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. But first, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you are a regular viewer and subscriber, I absolutely love you. Thank you so much. If you are new to the channel and you like what you see, please subscribe. It's just the button here. I'm always trying to grow the channel. We are on all the social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at The Dress Up Mom, hashtag The Dress Up Mom. You can check us out there. And give us a little thumbs up too if you like this. Okay, so like I said, there is an iconic vintage shop up in the LA area. Uh, I guess Hollywood is not very far from where my son Dane lives up in West Hollywood. It is called The Way We Wore and it is owned by another icon, fashion icon in this industry, Doris Raymond, who is just lovely. And I found out about the way we wore through Instagram, through another fellow fashion blogger who had gone up to LA and did like a little short video and some pictures of her trying on things at the way we wore. I immediately started to follow them because I thought, whew, really cool stuff. And I've loved it ever since. Now I've never been in the shop even though I go to LA maybe once in a year, it's just never kind of worked into my schedule and I always wanted to. About five years ago or so, I saw something on their Instagram thing that I just had to have. And it is one of my prized possessions. It is this Dorote Biss sweater, which is crocheted. It's from the 70s. I call it my Joseph and the Amazing Dream Coat coat. I bring it out in the winter. If I travel somewhere cold, I take it. Unfortunately, it's usually not cold enough for me to wear it here, but I find any reason that I can to wear it. It has a little hat that it came with, and I just love it. So I bought that just sight unseen on Instagram after having a conversation with the folks there and it's been one of my prized pieces. So recently got to go up to visit my son and put this on the list to do. Now I'll backtrack a tiny bit. Doris Raymond started up a YouTube channel for the way we wore, I don't know, a, a, a little while ago. And it has quickly become one of my absolute favorite YouTube channels and one that I never miss an episode on. So I've been tuning into those and just loving her and the shop even more. What she does is she really educates you on vintage clothes, on fashion in general. She does a lot of prep work for these episodes and I've learned about different decades, different fashion designers she talks about. She's gone to different places like Fitum and I don't know, all sorts of fun stuff that she does on the channel and it's super educational and has made my love for vintage clothes even more exaggerated as if it already wasn't, but it's given me even a deeper appreciation and love for everything vintage and for learning about these amazing pieces and the fashion designers. So I was even more motivated to do this. I also was watching and realized that the whole month of February, they have a huge sale going on and they've been doing these live streams on their YouTube channel and on Instagram, showing the different pieces that are on the sale and the sale is pretty good. You can imagine, I mean, this is not one of your places you're gonna go in and find low end <laughs> resale and vintage pieces. These are beautifully curated, some from Doris's collection and you know, not cheap pieces, but also not hugely over the top compared to what you might find in like a department store and certainly nice higher end designer clothes. So I was watching and in the months of February and I found out also in August, Everything on their first floor is $200 or less. Okay, $200 or less. Let me repeat this. So if an article of clothing was originally marked at $500, then you're only gonna get pay $200 for it. If it was marked at something like $350, you're gonna only pay half 
So 200 is the max, but you might get it for even less. It happened to be February and I couldn't believe my great fate because we got there in the middle of the sale. And I gotta say, I think my trips up to see Dane are now gonna be in February and August so I could just get in there and participate in this sale. So I know that's a big setup for this, but again, I wanted just to give you a little bit of context. So let me just take you along and show you what happened when we actually went to the shop. Note to myself, I need to fold this dress up, not hang it, fold it carefully and put it in a bag, a nice cloth bag to preserve it. Yeah. So fun. So as you can see, the two pieces I got were this gorgeous dress that I am currently wearing. Now, this dress is from the 1920s. It is a hundred years old. Come on now, it's a hundred years old. It's in fantastic condition. The lace feels nice and soft and beautiful. It has this lining underneath here that is just so gorgeous. The dropped waist, the bottom here where just the lace shows through on parts of it, and it absolutely fits me perfectly. I don't have anything like this and it is again now going to be one of my favorite pieces I can't wait to find places to wear this I think I can dress it way up I have it a little bit dressed here but I think I could dress this down too it's such a just a almost like a basic dress I want to be a little careful but I could put a denim jacket and sandals on this too super comfy almost like wearing a slip and I just 
cannot believe my good fortune. So the way the store is set up is it's all by decades, kind of goes around by decades. And so I found this in the 1920s section originally for my daughter to try on. She's going to a wedding. And I thought it might be a good silhouette for her. Now, it looked fine on Tiana, but it really wasn't the right style for her. I had tried on a bunch of other dresses that were fun to try on, but for whatever reason didn't work. Too small, too big, not exactly right. And just by, I don't know what got me, it was in the dressing room. And I thought, why don't I just try this dress? Oh, I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love it. The one thing is I would love so much to know who wore this dress, who were the people that wore this dress before me the last hundred years, obviously took amazing care of it. And anyways, I'm, you can see I'm over the moon for this dress. Now I took the lovely saleswoman's advice and I'm going to store this in a nice bag. So I bought this sort of cashmere protection pouch and I'm folding this beautiful lace dress and keeping it in the bag the way that it was suggested so that it all stays nice and it doesn't get all hangry or weird. But I, again, beside myself for this. The second piece, and you saw me with this in there is this really cool, I think it's from the 70s, it was in the 70s pile, I think, uh, vest and dress. You can clasp it closed here, but I kind of like wearing it open as a vest. And I do remember this is one that Doris had showed on her live stream and she talked about. I didn't really realize it until I came back home and rewatched. And this was a piece because it looked a little familiar. I do remember when I saw her showing it, thinking, really cool. And every single one of these pieces of fabric is hand sewn in here. I mean, this again is now just one of my favorites and I feel like it's a piece, even my daughter and son said, I feel like my mom, that's a piece that you've had in your wardrobe forever. So these two wonderful pieces definitely called to me and I love having them in my collection. Unfortunately, on the Saturday that I went, Doris was not there. She was taking a weaving class. I guess normally she is there on Saturdays. So I didn't get to meet her, which I would have loved to do and just thank her for her motivation and for all the education and for having this amazing store. I felt like I was literally going through almost a museum and just picturing everything that happened with people as they were wearing these clothes. And of course, the things up on the top floor were just, oh, the couture things were so fun to see in person. Uh, but I would have thanked Dora, so maybe if I go back in August, ha ha, I'll be able to meet her in person, which would just be wonderful. I wanted to thank the people that were there that day at The Way We Were. They were so gracious, such great people that worked there, super fun, super informative. They let me do a little bit of filming and it was just an overall great experience. I had super high expectations. They were even exceeded and I will definitely be back. I would love to know if you've been at The Way We Wore. If you are a fan of theirs, let me know there too. I think there's quite a few of us out there. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.